Hello friends. In previous videos, we have solved this particular transportation model using the five methods that we have for the transportation models. And by all these five methods, we have possibly got different answers or different transportation costs. So if you check out by Dr. Scott method, we got 890. By Romino method, we got 750. By Columbino method, we got it as 790. By matrix minima and by Vogel's approximation method, we got the transportation cost for this transportation model as 750 units. Now, if you observe, by all these five methods, we are getting different answers. So, though we are solving it for a single or same transportation model, though we are using the same transportation model, we are getting variations in this answers. The reason is this all transportation cost that we have got or this answer that we have got they refer to initial feasible solution they are not optimal solutions so for a given transportation model the different methods that we are using after implying them on transportation models we get initial feasible solution and it may change according to the method that we have used but for a particular transportation model there will be always a single optimal solution it will not change now what is optimal solution so when we talk about optimality there are two ways to reach optimality one is to go for maximization another is to go for minimization these two are the subsequence of this particular word optimality so now in this case for transportation models when we talk about transportation models our aim is to go for minimization means what we have to reduce or we have to minimize the transportation cost so as we will reduce the transportation cost that will lead to increase in the profits so that's why our aim here is for minimization now if we check out by Norton's corner method, transportation cost is 890, by row minima it is 750, by column minima it is 790. So these are just the answers that are bringing us close to the optimal solution. So just to uh, let you know in a better way, assume that this is a scale which marks optimal solution. So assume that at this point, at this point, the optimal solution lies for this particular transportation model. And we will assume that the transportation cost, optimal transportation cost is 700 units. But now we will check out when we are using northwest corner method, the initial feasible solution that we have got is 890 and we will assume that it lies at this point. By row minimum method, we have referred as 750, so we will assume that it lies at this particular point. By column minimum method, we have got the transportation cost as 790, so we will assume that it lies at this particular point. So here it is 750. So now what is happening? This method, this answer we have got it by northwest corner method, this answer we have got it by column minimum method, 750 we have got it by matrix minima method then Google's approximation method and row minima method by three methods we have got 750 so these methods they help us out to go close to the optimal solutions so these are just the first steps in order we have to go through two steps to reach the optimal solution. So these are just the first part which help us to reach the optimal solution. After going through this first parts, we have to perform certain iterations which will lead us to reach out this optimal solution. Now the only thing is that now in this case if we have used northeast corner method to go with the first part then we will have to go through 1, 2, 3, 4 iterations to reach the optimal solution but if we have used column minima for this transportation model we may reach in 
three iterations less than this. And if you use these three methods, you may reach the optimal solution just in one or two iterations. So they just bring us close to the optimal solution. So now this was all about the first part. Regarding the second part, we'll be discussing this second part: how to reach the optimal solution for a particular transportation model. Once we have used the first part, that we'll be discussing in the. latter videos thank you